What up, family? Boosie. Man, I, I, I got to say <laughs> that uh, Boosie is, he one of them ones, fam. I know you got a lot of motivational speakers that you can call me one of the uh, preachers and different things and they be real uh, biased to like you got to stay over there if you live in a certain life. But I know when I was living uh, the life that I was living in the street, I look back, God had his hand on me the whole time and was blessing me up to what I'm doing now. So when I see, you know, a street dude or a street rapper, you know, I might, uh, if, they, if they doing something wrong, you know, in the public, you know, I might put my statement on it. You feel what I'm saying? Talk about it like I do. But at the end of the day, I don't judge nobody solely, fam. I let God deal with that. I just send out the warnings that God uh, sent me to do. Now, when it come to um, Boosie, Boosie have been through a lot, still going through a lot. I tell y'all all the time, you know, the world right now is chasing a gold spam to where everybody think that money is going to solve everything. You know, like you will never have no more problems once you get this money. And that's, that's going to be it. That's going to be the world. And that's a lie. That's the biggest lie ever, fam. More money, more problems. Trust me. Now, when you got money, before we get into detail, you were able to go get a peace of mind. But at the end of the day, the problem still lies, fam. You did. A lot of people is praying for success and all these different things. But I'm beginning to see the bombs having more peace. I look at a lot of foreign videos. People in little huts have more peace than people in the United States, fam. Because it's it's pretty much all about image. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to uphold the image. People trying to get you. And it will cause frustration like it's doing with Boosie and everything else. Trauma that he have been through coming up in Baton Rouge. Now, a lot of people talk about the church also. They saying the church ain't it no more. You know, you, you're judging the preacher and everybody else. He want a Cadillac. He rather, you know, he really ain't for the people. And a lot of people miss the message looking at the messenger. And I think it's a fluke that's getting us away from the church house, fam, because I, I know my grandma, you know, uh, Papa and them, everybody that was deep in the church, my mama and them, my mom, I have seen God uh, bless individuals, fam, and bring them from transitions and do miraculous things, even in my life. So I know it's real. Now, fast forward, Boosie decided to go to a church in Shreveport, Louisiana. In the process of Boosie being in the church, you could tell it was like a small form church, nothing big, no no big action or nothing. And Boosie was asked to, you know, come up. You know, he's a celebrity in the church. And but while Boosie was up there, Boosie told the preacher that, you know, we, I need prayer. And the preacher called for all the other elders in the church to get around Boosie. And pray for him. There's a lot of them around him praying for him. Now fans. Was concerned. Concerned in a good way. A lot of them were saying. I seen in the comments. Now you got to love Boosie. You know for being original. You know that was most of the comments. Saying that they like to see Boosie. When he moved like that. Now here's my thing fam. It got to be a balance. In everything in life. And Boosie is finding that balance through his mama and grandmother, everything that he has been through. And the balance is the church, fam. Now, for Boosie to do that, so on camera, saying that he need prayer, I have never seen another rapper do it that I can't call, maybe DMX or something. But I've never seen um, a rapper of Boosie caliber like he do. You know, not ashamed, not having no image and saying that he need prayer because he got problems also that everybody only posts their highlights on IG, Facebook, whatever the case might be, they social media. Don't nobody actually post the real. I found myself with my social media like, let me post something real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead of posting highlights all the time. Because it's somebody really going through something and I may be able to help them change because it's not about me all the time. And with this move that Boosie made, it goes to show, fam, it goes to show that regardless, you are a human being. And that means that if you are human, 
uh, man up under God, fam, it's only so much that you're going to be able to do uh, yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Like going through this world, I don't care how many business you got, how many meetings you got, it's going to get to a point to where you need God, whether it's in your sick bed, family, or whether it's to reach your children for you, whatever the case might be. The older we get, have, have you noticed a lot of the older people, they turn to God, fam, because they've been untried everything else. And then when they try that, they the best people in the world. They can win all through their life, be in a certain way, get 45, 50 years old, get to get in the church, fam. And, and you couldn't even tell that they used to be the way. That's how much God work in people's life. And it's well needed, fam. Look at P. Diddy and all these other people that don't speak on the most high and count their blessings in the in, in the best way, fam. That think that they did it on their own. They feel the pressure. Don't think that uh, people... Just because you got money, it, it, I don't care who you is. It's not going to make you happy. It's not going to bring you peace. It's not going to do none of that, fam. We get used to everything. Goosey has been in the game over 20 years. He used to money, used to the women, used to it all. Then it's like, what's next? It's the spirit in you, fam. Perspective on life. And for him to be in a church in Shreveport, Louisiana. No Boosie from Louisiana. And, and, and you can tell the pastor and, and, and the people in there, they was happy to have Boosie in that church, fam. These rappers don't be recognizing how much power and influence they really have over the youth, that they can change some lives, fam. Can save people from prison. Can save a lot of the youth from death, fam. Can save a lot of them from poverty. Just by words, just by your influence, just by you being Boosie. It's good to balance it out, fam, when you pouring this records. These records that these people dropping and saying different things that's in the hip-hop game, it's influencing people to go to prison, fam. When is y'all going to wake up and recognize what I'm saying is real? It's not a game. It's in influencing people to go shoot some and kill some, fam, because they think this is our life. This is the protocol to it. This is the book to our life, hip-hop, fam. It's connected to the streets. That's why you're seeing all these different young artists coming up right now. They dying, fam, or going to prison, fam, because rapping is just a book of what we live in. What we they talk, they they putting it in the book. You know what I'm saying? What they have lived or seen their homeboy live in the streets, fam. And the whole time, you know, we riding off that is really not life. It's just all we know because we from the hood. We can just see from a hood perspective, fam. I'm beginning to see life is way larger and bigger and better, fam, than where I, I'm from. On the Ross Creek, Paru level, that's small-minded. You dig what I'm saying? A lot of people is living in that. The Spirit of God, fam, is strong, and I can tell you this, that it ain't going to be long before God make his round back around. Because there's so much going on right now. You barely get people like Boosie. And, and that's in position and really care about the community, even themselves, to ask for prayer. People that are so far away from God, they more closer to idols and people. They worshiping idols and people, fam. And I can tell you this, let's talk about that in the good book. And a lot of things that it was saying in the good book, we seeing now, fam. You know, even when it comes to these earthquakes, a lot of these different floods and fires, fam, it's all in our face, but we think it's a game. But I will keep y'all updated on the game. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.